Joining us right now, though, uh, with a look at the labor market, we're going to continue this conversation. Uh, maybe elevate, I, I, elevate, I Andrew. Know, I brought I, it down to the gutter. Uh, Karen's here. She's <laughs> going to, uh, she's going to elevate it. Uh, <laughs> I'm Chief talk Economist about jobs. <laughs> at LinkedIn. Good morning to you. Good morning. Uh, what's your sense of what, what? What do you think the jobs number is? But the truth is, nobody. I don't want to say nobody cares about the jobs number. They care about the jobs number in relation to what the Fed will do about it, right? I mean, that's sort of the, the overlay here. But let's go absolutely. for the underlying number first. Yeah, absolutely. I think we're, we're a little bit more rosy. We're looking for 200, 210, somewhere around there. Is that so. rosy? But that's not rosy. That's you, bad. That's rosy that? compared to consensus. Well, right. well so, but this is, this is the, the perverse nature of the situation, right? Which is uh, yeah. the, the, rosiness the rosiness might ultimately be a problem. You know, I don't or know. Or is it? I, I guess that's the other piece of it. Is it a problem? Or because this goes back to the supply issue in terms sure. of, uh, you know, un un undoing the su supply problems that we've had or whether you think it's a demand problem. I, you know what I think? I think that getting around 200 is not going to freak out the Fed. I think, first of all, they don't react to one number. And I also think they honestly would be OK with a very gradual cooling. And that's exactly what we're seeing in so, our own and, data. OK, flip it around, though. You think that, that, that might be cool, cool for the Fed, if you will. But is it cool for the markets? the equity markets and the bond markets. I, I got to agree with what I just heard. I think the markets were a little late to figure out the, what higher for longer really meant. So, yeah, I don't think they're going to love it. I think it's a little more complicated than just higher or, or lower. And maybe I presented that too simplistically just a minute ago. The Fed is going to look at higher, a higher payroll number and say, are people coming into the workforce to supply that? And if the supply is there in labor, it's not going to be concerned about that. And it's going to ask itself, what's the price? Right. And if the price, as in the wage, is lower, then I think that's going to, the Fed's going to be right. okay with that. The other thing that's going on, Andrew, is this very complicated and very mercurial, I want to say, um, discussion and debate about the relationship of job growth, economic growth, and the right rate of interest right now. We talked about that earlier this week, this yeah. neutral rate debate. The Fed is perhaps finding that that neutral rate, the run rate of the economy, is higher than it thought right. before. Why? Because growth is strong and inflation is coming down. We are seeing right now in our data at LinkedIn, we're actually seeing a lot more applications per roll, about 20% right. increase. So people are coming back into the market and they are definitely well, applying with more intensity. 20% to what? Like what's the... 20% over, let's say, the last year. So no, I mean, starting... but to, to how many applicants for each? How many applicants for each role? Yeah. It depends entirely on the industry. But what we're saying overall in right. the U.S., it's about a 20% increase. So it's a couple of roles more, but you have a couple more applicants per role. But it really does start to make a difference. We've been seeing this for a while. We're seeing this increasing intensity and a decrease in confidence right. among workers. But how much, is, how much does the LinkedIn data correlate? How often are you surprised on a Jobs Friday? As it relates I'm always to, surprised. There's always something I didn't expect. But you were talking about the headline number? I, I'm, uh, headline numbers, but also mm -hmm. given, given that you're looking at these applications, given that you can see yeah. companies who are deciding to put up an application, take one down. There was a period yeah. of time, you remember, where people had all these applications that they just left up. That's absolutely right. Do you remember right. that? That's, that? That is and a so risk, yep. And so there's that noise in the system and sort of how, how you actually decipher yeah. sort of where you really are. So what we, what we see is, first of all, to answer your question, I am always surprised by something in the data, but we're seeing job postings coming down. Employers are pulling them back. They're being really judicious, really, really careful and selective about whether they want to fill a role, and they're taking their time to do it. But they are still hiring, and we still do have more Karen, jobs Karen, on the platform than before. Would you invest, let's say you had a lot of money, would 4.7% Who be says she doesn't? Okay, let's say you have even more than what you actually have. And you, and you, you get, you, you know, you, you can put a bunch of different places. Is 4.7% for 10 years, is that good? Is that the government paying you enough? It's not for me. It's and not that's a why, lot. That's why I, don't, that's why I think rates lot. are going up. And when you look at inflation, it hasn't come all the way back down. The Fed is committed to that. That we know. So it's, it's, it's just not a lot. And we got a lot of people. We, we have to give a lot of people these things. A lot of people got to say, yeah, I'll take 4.7, and they're not going to. That's why it's going to 5 or 6, regardless of short-term rates. I, I think it's a more complicated question. It's like, how old is Karen? How far are you from retirement? Know, okay, right. What portion of your portfolio is? I, I and I'm not asking you how old you are. Just Thank to be you. clear. People who loved it at four percent. It's oh yeah. 
Finally, we're getting you're paid right. again. You're and right. Now that now they got eighty right. cents on no, the dollar. Right. And in, in, in the right. old days, it was seven or eight percent. And there's right. what if it goes back? I, it, I'd like eight percent. But 8%. it is it, it is like a new phenomenon. I've been like, wow, you can actually get a little money. Four point seven percent for ten. Not for ten you're years. You're stuck for ten. On the short end of the tur curve. No, I know, but and we you, need people to buy the yeah. long the ten year bond. And you still have inflation uncertainty, right. right? You've got that uncertainty premium sitting there. You don't actually know if it's going to go back who's up or down. Step up? So that's kind of yeah. costly to you as well. If the Fed's not doing it, who's going to do it? China. There are, it's not necessarily a question of who's going to buy. The question is at what price will they That's buy? That's what I mean. Right. And, and there, is a, there are buyers for these at a price. I think, as think I've said price, before, I think, that, I think that Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen and the president need to step up and say, we are watching this. This is of concern to us. And we are talking about a plan to, have a, to, to make the deficit, put it on a more sustainable basis. I mean, we've had Jared Bernstein on, and he said we can't do it alone about the Democrats. So that's an issue. I want to make one very quick point. Um, the jobs number has been uh, uh, revised downward in each month this yes. year. We also have, we know that the government has uh, said the benchmark revision will be lower. So you want to take the strength today a little bit with a grain of salt. 170 again is the number. That's the that's the that's the, the mark. Kimbrough. Yes. Karen Kimbrough. Got it. For next time, I'm, I'm going to nail it. That's that from LinkedIn, and it's kind of cool that you're an economist and have all that data from LinkedIn. It's that's kind of cool. That's cheating. The, that's the point. It's kind of cheating. That's but the, the new world we're in. I'm not cheating. Is I'm just having fun. The other yeah, you've that's got more than any about. normal economy. But you're, you're never going to retire, right? The, 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 so you don't need any income from it. Uh, no, I'm never. No, I'm never. not. That's, no. that's what we're seeing in the jobs data as well. Yeah.